today's video is going to be a little bit different so basically i reached out to a bunch of athletes on my instagram and i asked you guys to allow me some random guy fucking in a different country to review your videos and i went through your pages and picked five people who had videos and feeds that i really feel like have massive potential or already basically at the peak that they can reach and you just need to keep the consistency going in order to make sure that you grow as much as physically possible but there's also a few areas that some of you are lacking in that you could easily fix and you could gain more traction more followers and then just perform better overall so we're gonna hit screen record on this i'm gonna throw it up here and boom first person we're gonna start with you can see them all on the list over here i have them all preset first person we're gonna start with is ya boy nova ethan atkins and yes i followed each of these people because you know i think they deserve it Ethan, your page is amazing. You're a fucking awesome athlete. This is literally hands down my favorite clip. Obviously gonna put the music off because of copyright reasons and whatnot. I don't want a headache. I'm, I'm just starting, but still. Uh, your page is amazing because not only are you a great athlete, you've got like a really wide variety of styles, but I immediately saw a major issue with your page when I came onto it. And that's because I have no idea what the hell is happening once I try and click on a video because a lot of your cover photos don't have any sense of action. The only one that really has like an idea of what's going on in the video is this one over here where you can see yourself right over there in the middle of an action or a motion that you're going to be going into. Um, and the reason that's bad is because if people don't understand what they're looking at the second they see it on their feed, they're going to skip right past it and they won't care. You need to give people a reason to get hooked firstly, and then that'll give them a reason to give your video a chance. And if that video does well with them, they'll take that a step further, go onto your page, and then they'll start liking and even potentially give you a follow, give you more traction, and then your page will do better overall. Because my man, you are an amazing athlete. All that's missing is just, look at that. My dude, you are fucking amazing, but like, a lot of people are going to miss you because of just that reason alone. Uh, profile photo is rad. I would say add a little bit more about yourself in your bio. It doesn't have to be over the top. And if you could perhaps work on getting some highlight covers for your page done, that's basically something everybody can do, especially because you do have things that you want people to be able to share. It's like, oh, what's his music taste? And they tap on that. They're like, oh, that's pretty rad. They're going to see flips. They're like, oh, okay, I know what I'm getting because I'm tapping on something that gives me an idea of what I want to see. Um, and then you've got this one over here, which I assume gives more information about you because it's titled Ethan, obviously. But yeah, dude, you're a, an amazing athlete. All that's missing is just those very small minor tweaks. But otherwise, give this man a follow because he's fucking amazing. So that's the first person on the list. Next person, I'm telling you, Aries, you are freaking incredible. I've been following you since you've been wearing the Etraford baggy pants because your flow is next level. The editing, the color work, theme matching on like your main feed, um, just the way your entire page is set up, everything looks amazing. Plus all the action is very go, 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 as opposed to like clicking on the video and then you have like really slow start to the video. It's like as soon as you tap on the video, there's action, there's something drawing your eyes, there's always something going on. Awesome profile photo, amazing bio, highlight cover so people have a better idea of the things you do and like extra stuff that you have, like compilations and whatnot. And if you look at the theme and the feed, look at this. You can see that a lot of the colors are muted, but a lot, of, a lot of them are also very punchy and very vibrant, which is awesome because people like to see consistency when they're going through pages. So the only thing I think you should improve on is the consistency. I'm not sure if you're like busy most of the time, but like don't be afraid to post older stuff and just keep reposting it so that you have a fresh catalog of content going and going and going. I know not everybody's okay with that because, you know, it's rehashing old content, but at the same time, it really does well to just keep people interested in the fact that you're like present. And also when you do start gaining more followers, the new people checking out your page probably missed a lot of the stuff that you have already posted. So being able to repost things kind of just makes it easier to make sure you've got a fresh catalog of content going on so that you're always just keeping people in the loop and abreast to what you're doing because your page is amazing and I think you deserve more followers. Next person, Luke, my brother, you, I'm coming for you. <laughs> this is Luke, he's a fellow teammate, but I honestly think he deserves a shit ton more followers because he's an amazing athlete. But the places where you are falling flat are just 
not really consistency, I wouldn't say. I would say your page is a little bit scattered. Rehash everything you're doing and then just compile all the stuff that you like to post and make it all work for you. So can you see as you go onto his page, you're gonna go over here, you're gonna see a photo of him, a photo of him. You're gonna see parkour, parkour, another photo of him. These are all rad, but what you could do, instead of just posting them as single images, you could literally inlay them all as a carousel. So what a carousel is, is basically when you post multiple things, and they all go into one little catalog or one little album when you post it. So somebody taps on the video and then they can slide through and they can see a whole bunch of different things. First of all, this is great because it drives up your engagement and keeps people on your page for longer. The algorithm, that filthy blood sucking demon of a freaking uh, computer program or whatever the hell, it likes people having retention and just being on your page the whole time, showing interest, going through, reading bios and everything. The more you keep people on your page, the better your page will do overall because my man, you are a fucking amazing athlete. He's bouncy as hell. His flow is amazing and there's no like faults in the way he moves. It's just freaking phenomenal. Have a look for yourself. <laughs> what? Perfect scootful as well. You're an amazing athlete. It's just the consistency I think that I need to see more of. Don't be afraid to post old stuff once again. This advice applies to everybody. Yeah, there you go. You've got one carousel right over there. So what you could do is have a photo of yourself looking funky fresh and then just have a bunch of clips of you doing parkour as well. Don't be afraid to mix up things because people like to see that you're going that extra mile to uh, make sure that your content is right in front of their faces. Next person, Jacques PK15. This page I really like. The second I came onto it, I was like, oh my gosh, whoa, hold on a second. You see so much going on as soon as you go onto the feed and the first six videos you see are really, really important, especially for new people coming to your page because it instantly gives them an idea of what you're about. Pretend that anybody coming to your page is a complete idiot and they have no idea what you're about and just give them an extra hand right here. This, this in itself drew me to your page and I was like, that is sick. But also it falls really, really flat because you get this really sick video over here. Too much slow-mo right out the bat. So if you're a normal person who's just scrolling through Instagram for fun, like on your break or something, and you see a lot of slow-mo and the action is taking forever to get started, it instantly puts the person off and they're kind of just like, eh, they'll just scroll right away and now you've lost a potential follower and you've lost potential engagement. I know engagement and followers aren't necessarily what everybody's about. You're an amazing athlete and I genuinely think that if you were to just apply yourself a bit more, you'd be able to get a shit ton more attention and a lot more followers. Another thing I'm seeing lacks a little bit is the consistency. Because you're posting so much content at one go, right over here, chilling with the homies, having a good time, copyright, copyright. You're posting clips, trying to have a good time with the homies, it's pretty sick. But what you could do is just have that as a clip, cut it at a certain point and then say full thing on my YouTube, have a YouTube channel. Now you're taking the attention from your page and then pushing people that extra step onto YouTube. Now you're growing two platforms at the same time. So that's just another way you can action people into being more interested in your stuff. And also just growing because I can see that little YouTube thing there in your bio, which means you do have a YouTube that people should care about. Give them a reason to go to your YouTube channel. One other thing that I think is just a little bit distracting is, believe it or not, my eyesight is dog shit. You'd, you'd, you'd be surprised. I wear freaking glasses and I'm not trying to insult you or anything, but when I clicked on this video and I full screened it, at certain points, I literally had to squint like, what is happening? Because first of all, you're using the fish eye, which is already like, okay, what the heck is going on? Remember, we can't turn our phones this way. Like you're throwing down some fucking sick moves, but people can't see them, so. If they're struggling to see the content, they're not going to be interested. So just be careful of that. You're a great athlete. Keep training. Okay, next person, or pretty much the last person for today. I've already given you a follow because you deserve it. This clip right here. This is the one that drew me in. So here you can just see you hanging out with the homies, posting cool clips, having dope time. Pretty sick. I really like this video because it just shows a lot of action that like normal people could enjoy. And that double back was sick. But here is the biggest issue, and it's something you and the other page share. There's pretty much empty space, if you understand. Um, right over here is an empty clip of you eventually coming into frame and doing something. But you can see how long it takes for the action to get started. So what you could do is just have your cover photo of you in the middle of the flip so that people would look right there. Can you see just like that? Right over there. Have yourself in the middle of the video 
as the cover photo for that video because those are super important especially if you end up on like the explore feed and people are scrolling 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 they'll see you upside down and the people be like well what the hell and they'll click on it and then boom once again new followers and new engagement and then your page will just do better because you're an amazing athlete as well and i think you deserve more followers like i said amazing athletes who are just doing a few things that need to be corrected in order to do better overall on instagram but otherwise the only insight i would give you guys outside of everything i've shared today is just consistency is one thing don't be afraid to repost old stuff uh be careful of treating instagram like youtube with having people have to sit there in order to see all the content um, you got to give it to them as fast as possible, but at the same time retain their attention as well Because if you've got a video that you have to sit through like this and wait like more than two seconds to Get started. It, it's very easy to lose people because the human attention span is like 2.5 seconds on something that they're not interested, especially when it comes to social media It's like an actual science if somebody comes onto your video and it takes too long to get started They've already lost interest. They will go and then you've just potentially lost engagement and followers. But otherwise, you guys are amazing. Keep at it. Thank you so much for letting me see your videos and review them. Didn't really roast them or anything like that because I think you guys are amazing athletes. You don't deserve that. Uh, it's just a few things you need to fix in order to do better overall. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, give these people a follow because they truly deserve it. And I will see you guys in six months. <laughs>